Hey, yo. I said uh, something about this video a while back. Um, yeah, today I'm going to be doing Rogue versus Wonder Woman. Yeah, it's been a while. And uh, I never really thought I would really ever dive into DC and Marvel topics. But uh, nonetheless, uh, we're going to be doing that today. I said I was going to do this video like two to three weeks ago. Yeah, it got pushed back by a lot for a lot of different reasons. Either way, right now, I have the time. So let's go ahead and do that today. If you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button. Rise of the Ronin and whatnot. I don't know why I said that anyways. Let's get into this right now. I'll start off with Rogue, and if you don't know, I'll cut my video into three different parts. These parts being the first part where I cover the first character, second part being where I cover the second character, and the final and last part being the discussion, and then I say who wins, and then, well, that's the video. When looking at Rogue, we'll be using the canon of Marvel Comics, obviously. So, let's get into this now. Rogue is a fictional superhero appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics, commonly in association with the X-Men. She debuted in Avengers Annual Number 10, number November 1981, as a villain, but then soon after joined the X-Men. Rogue is a part of a subspecies of humans called mutants who are born with superhuman abilities. Rogue has the involuntary ability to absorb and sometimes also remove the memories, physical strength, and superpowers of anyone she touches. Therefore, Rogue considers her powers a curse for most of her life. She limited her physical contact with others, including her on and off love interest, Gambit, but after many years, Rogue finally gained full control of her mutant ability. With that being said, that was just a summary in case you don't know who the characters are and you just wanted to click on this video because you thought it looked interesting through the thumbnail or the title. When looking at her powers and abilities, obviously she has superhuman strength. She can fly because she was able to absorb the powers and memories of whoever she touches. Um, I mean, well, no, I don't know. I mean, well, she has flight, but can absorb the powers and memories of whoever she touches. Touching for too long can lead to permanent absorption, and the opponent could be affected by anything from knockout to even death. Possesses all the powers of, of, of Carol Danvers, including precognition, energy manipulation, slash absorption, grants her low-level molecular manipulation and regeneration, gravity manipulation, some powers as Wonder Man, I mean, same powers as Wonder Man, including immortality type 2, and flight, energy form, and size manipulation. With that being said, we can now move on to what we're all really here for when it comes to these scaling things is attack potency and speed. When looking at her attack potency, she is universal level because she is comparable to classic Carol Danvers, who defeated Base Hulk, who destroyed the entire universe during his battle with the Nameless One. Then we can say universal level even further to further the scaling. If you guys didn't know, you know, there's a, multiple other ways to, you know, scale, you know, something. So this is another reason for it. We can also say this means she's probably possibly low multiversal level because has Wonder Man's strength level, flies around red onslaught, her power can be dependent on the abilities and strengths she has absorbed. So keep that in mind. She has the power to absorb those things. Now when looking at her speed, she's sub relativistic flight and combat speed, flew from the moon to the earth at roughly 0 0.065 um, cents, sub relativistic combat speed, scaling from Wonder Man. So with that being said, she's sub relativistic in speed and arguably mo uh, low multiverse level to universe level. Okay, so now we can move on to Wonder Woman. This will be the canon post-crisis Wonder Woman, just so you know. And let's get into this right now. Molded from clay by her mother, uh, Hippotala, and blessed by the Greek gods to become as beautiful as Aphrodite, wise as um, wise as Athena, stronger than Hercules, and swifter than Mercury, Diana of Themyscira was destined for greatness. The princess of the Amazons was a dauntless warrior whose prowess on the battlefield was only matched by her peerless beauty and boundless compassion. But Hippotide kept uh, Diana sheltered, feeling that it was not the place of the Amazons to interfere with the course of man's world. One fateful day, a U.S. Air Force pilot named Steve Trevor inadvertently crashed into the Amazon's idyllic island of Themyscira and armored I mean, enamored with the thought of seeing the world outside of her home, Diana completed with her, uh, I mean, um, yeah, competed with her fellow Amazons to win the right to return Trevor to the United States. She was then entrusted with her signature armor, sword, and lasso, forged by uh, Hepatitis himself before uh, talking Trevor to the mainland. After seeing the conflict that raged across the world outside, they then decided to use her incredible gifts to fight evil wherever it may rise up and defend the innocent as the superheroine Wonder Woman. 
Now, with that being said, age 3030, uh, 30s by appearance. She looks 30, but she's actually like 3,000 years old. We're looking at her powers and abilities. Obviously, she has superhuman strength, flight, immortality, longevity, regeneration, mid low, as various magical weapons such as her bracelet, tiara, lasso, resistance to magic, telepathy, illusions, minor resistance to reality warping, can call upon the power of God of the God wave, can discern the truth and tell when someone is lying, mastery of hand to hand combat. Now we can get into her attack potency and speed. When we look at Wonder Woman's attack potency and speed, we can see that her uh, first levels of attack potency are multi-universal level, likely multiverse level though. The reason for this is because fought against Superman and was able to damage him. Defeated Ares, destroyed the Chrono Scepter, which contains the power of the God Wave that surrounds the multiverse, has contended with the likes of Doomsday, Darkseid, etc. on par with Martian Manhunter. And when we look at her speed, we can say she has immeasurable speed because she's comparable to Superman and the Green Lantern. Martian Manhunter thinks she's almost as fast as the Flash, which, yeah, that's just insane to even put in the same sentence. So immeasurable for sure. And with that being said, that's going to do it for Wonder Woman section. And now we can look at the battle in all in its entirety by going to a discussion and just talking about it right now. When looking at Rogue and Wonder Woman, I think this is a really interesting fight for the most part. It's DC versus Marvel, you know, that's how this always goes. Now, if you guys see my previous videos, you know how I do this. I just kind of, you know, dive into it and just pretty much get my personal opinions on it. So if Rogue does touch Wonder Woman, which I found very unlikely to happen if we're really going to give her immeasurable scaling, which I think is fair because she is comparable to that of Superman and Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter did think that she was faster than the Flash or well, well, that's not true, but almost as fast as the Flash, which I don't think that's even possible. But I think that he was comparing the Barry Allen version of the Flash. So, I mean, that makes a little bit more sense. Not Wally West, obviously, because there's just no way. But if we look at the idea of this, right, and we just say, like, okay, well, Wonder Woman is just, like, beyond Rogue. I don't really think this is that interesting to some degree. But actually, I wouldn't say that because, once again, when you look at, like, attack potency-wise, Rogue is, like, universal level to possibly low multiverse level. And then we have, like, Wonder Woman who is multi-universe level, likely multiverse level. And I'm just saying, like, you know, it's like they're on the same level of power unless you take the multi-universal level and not the multiverse level. And then even then, like, Rogue is, like, arguably low multiverse level, not really, more like universe level. So when looking at that scaling, it's like, okay, maybe they're equal in attack potency, but, like, okay, what about the speed part? Like, is the speed, like, that much of a, like difference to really say that wonder woman just clears honestly it really is that much of a difference for me to just genuinely say wonder woman clears i know a lot of people may not want to hear that but yeah um so relativistic plus is nowhere near your measurable levels of speed wonder woman kind of just uh speed blitzes uh rogue and they and she just kind of wins now if we want to do a scenario and we take it to the effect of the characters and their actions wonder woman would never speed blitz rogue right off the bat giving Rogue actually a chance at beating Wonder Woman very easily. So if she touches Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman is just kind of screwed because she can just keep draining her until she either A, eventually dies, or B, just gains enough of her powers to just beat Wonder Woman and they can just be equal. Or better yet, just take them away permanently, which would then just be like, okay, yeah, now it's like, yeah, Wonder Woman, I'm sorry, you kind of just lost. Um, that's where that would end like that's where that would end up like so in my personal opinion if we take the characters into perspective i think rogue has a higher chance at winning than wonder woman even despite her much higher power and speed just because of the way she acts especially towards females in particular she's very formal to them and you know has a lot of respect for them in general so i doubt she would just attack her right off the bat with like no reason so that would give rogue an easy attempt at like just casually defeating Wonder Woman with like zero to no diff. So I would say like, if we're taking the characters in perspective, Rogue could win low diff, honestly. Yeah, like very low diff, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but if we're talking about like, we're taking them bloodlusted, which is what power scaling kind of is meant to be taken in in, in its interpretation in the first place. Then yeah, I think Wonder Woman just bleed with Rogue. Also, she's stronger and strength doesn't really matter when that speed is like that big of a like clip of a advantage. 
So yeah, I just think Wonder Woman just honestly no diff to no low diffs like low diff, neg diff, low diff, like rogue because she just kind of speed blitzes. If you think like I don't know, the strength is really that big of a marginal gap, then yeah, it's even worse. But to me, I'm gonna say Wonder Woman because I take the characters in their interpretation, and I mean like their scaling in their interpretation. I don't really go for like, oh, let's talk about like, I don't know, like their scenario, like like a character scenario, like an in-character scenario. I'm just gonna give it to Rogue because I do think Wonder Woman would let her guard down, and Rogue would easily be able to beat her at that point because she just keeps taking her powers until she eventually dies, like I said. But if I don't take that into account, then yeah, bloodlusted, yeah, Wonder Woman just wins like low diff, neg diff, yeah. So I'm gonna give it to Wonder Woman because that's the way I like to do it. But yeah, if you look at it from the scenario point of view, then yeah, I guess Rogue does win. But yeah, I look at it from the other way. So yeah, I'd say Wonder Woman wins no no diff, um, like zero diff. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be informed about new videos. Um, thank you. I'll never be able to say this enough. I'll never be able to say this enough. Uh, thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Wonder Woman wins. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a nice day. I'm out.